Oh yeah, family. It's morning time. Welcome to the celebration. Morning motivation. I am Deacon Ford and we're here once again to give God all glory, all honor, and all praise because this right here is the day that the Lord has made and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. It's morning time, family. Let's get into this word and see what the word say. Good morning to you. Each and every single one of y'all, thank y'all for logging on, being a part of the morning motivational broadcast. Being a part of the motivation of family. Good morning to y'all. Shout out to y'all. 954 518 305 838 407. Good morning. This is the day Get to this word and see what the word say, y'all. Yes, yes. Good morning to you. Good morning. Good morning to each and every single one of y'all. Y'all see it? Oh, yeah. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. We shall rejoice. Celebrate good morning to you. Good morning to you. Brought Emory, good morning to you. Good morning to you. Sister Allison, good morning to you. I see you all here. Praise Yahweh. Good morning, good morning. Thank y'all for logging on. Thank y'all, thank y'all, thank y'all for logging on and being a part of the Morning Motivational Family. Once again, shout out to all of y'all. We thank God for the breath of life that He has provided for us. That we will be able to enjoy this moment one another because of what he has provided unto us. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Good morning to y'all. This is Morning Motivation. Shout out to each and every single one of y'all logging on right now. If you are on the live, big shout out to you. If you're going to log on at a later time, big shout out to you also. If y'all logging on from the other platforms, man, big shout out to each and every single one of y'all. Thank y'all for being a part of the family. This morning, y'all, I ain't gonna lie, my, my allergies, woo, woo, it's, 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 it's kicking me, kick, kicking my tail a little bit, but I had to make my way to get on this morning. I was determined, man. I know I have been, like, um, I've been a little hit and miss lately, so I'm gonna get back consistent. Let me just put it just straight up, just like that. I've been hit a little hit and miss lately, and I'm trying to get back consistent, so I ain't even let my allergies stop me this morning. So if I do sound a little funny, Y'all know what that is, all right? But listen, man. This morning, y'all, we getting into Ephesians chapter 3. We'll be looking at verses 20 and 21. Ephesians chapter 3. We'll be looking at verses 20 and 21. Shout out to each and every single one of y'all, man. Those who are uh, in the views, those who are uh, Instagram and YouTube. Shout out to everybody. Y'all come on in real quick. Big hug to y'all. Big hug to everybody. Love y'all, man. So once again, y'all grab your word. We're in Ephesians chapter 3. We're looking at verses 20 and 21. Ephesians chapter 3, verses 20 and 21. If y'all don't mind, y'all hit that share button. Let's get this message out to as many people as possible. Ephesians chapter 3, verses 20 and 21. Let us pray. God, our Father, as we come to you this morning, Lord God, we just thank you once again for your grace and mercy, for your undying love toward us, God, your unconditional love toward us. We ask that as we gather together in this fashion, that you will bless us with wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the things that we read, that you will allow your Holy Spirit to guide us into all truth and all revelation. God, we thank you and we love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Shout out to y'all. I see y'all on here, man. More than motivation of family. So Ephesians chapter 3, verses 20 and 21, the word reads, Now to him who is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we can ask or imagine, according to the power that works within us, to him be glory in the church by Christ Jesus to all generations forever and ever. Amen. May God add a blessing to the reader, the hearer, but most importantly, the doer of his holy word. And so as we look at this word this morning, family, it said that he's able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we can ask. I'm going to stop right there. God is now unto him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we can ask. So anything that we can ask, he can he can top that by going exceedingly, and he can top exceedingly by going abundantly. So anything that we can ask, God is able to do exceedingly, and then he'll go further than that, and he'll do abundantly. But this next part says that we can ask or think 
the other uh, versions of the Bible, it says, or imagine. Now imagine that. If God could do exceedingly, abundantly above all that we can ask, how much more than we can imagine? So whatever you can imagine, whatever we can fathom in our mind, God could go exceedingly, abundantly above that, that thought. That far-fetched thought in your mind, God could go exceedingly abundantly. He's just that powerful. He's just that big of a God. But guess what it says? According to what? The power that works in us. Y'all give me one second, man. I told y'all these, these allergies this morning, man. Trying to hang it up. Oh, man. Trying to hang it up, y'all. Y'all, y'all, y'all pray for me. Gotta give me some clarity. Yeah, but it says, imagine above all that we could we could ask. Now he could go exceedingly, abundantly above all that we could ask. But then it goes even further. It says, imagine. So that thought, God can do that according to the power that works what within us. So he already gave that to us. Greater is he that is in you than he is in the world. He gave a power that's in us. We got to tap into that. How do we tap into that, Deacon Ford? Well, I'm glad that you asked. The way, the way we tap into the power that works with us is spending time with God. We spend time with God by being in his word, by meditation and prayer, and doing so, he reveals to us our assignment, what we need to be doing, how we need to be crafting and, and navigating our life so that everything that we do gives him the glory. Verse 21 says, to him be the glory in the church by Christ Jesus to all generations forever and amen. God wants to do these things because when your light shines, he receives the glory. That's what he said. Let your light so shine before men that they will see your good works and he will receive the glory. Listen, man, this is what it's all about. If you feel like you're lacking, if you feel like you're coming up short, go to God. Now I want to him. Him, go to God. If you feel like you're deficient, if you feel like you're falling short, go to God. He's able to do more than we can ask or imagine. Now unto him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we can ask or think according to the power that works within us. The power is in you, family. You just got to tap in. You got to tap in and plug in with him. And once everything gets in line, you're going to see the manifestation of God's favor over your life. But don't take my word for it. Get into the word for yourself. Family, that's Ephesians chapter 3, verses 20 through 21. When you read your word, jump into the comment box and say, I read my word. Because it's all about strengthening your relationship with him. It's all about strengthening your relationship with him. All right. Y'all know how we roll faith over fear, God over everything. Together we have made love great again because love has never lost its power. It just lost its popularity. And it's been a wrap a long time ago for the foolishness. That's reflection, accountability, application, and preparation. We're getting prepared to make the rest of our lives the best of our lives. All right. I love y'all. Y'all come on in real quick. Come on now. Come on in, it's a few or so. I see, see, it say 13. So I'm going to get this big old 14, including me. That's 14 of us. A big hug to everybody. Big, big hug to everybody. I love y'all. God bless you. Listen, got this little announcement. For anybody who's in the capital region, y'all know this, uh, this Saturday is the Black Fest, the African American Family of Cultural Flesh down at the Plaza. If you in the capital region this Saturday, at 2 o'clock, meet me at the gospel stage, man. 2 o'clock. If you're in the capital region, meet me at the gospel stage, Black Fest, African American Family Day at the Plaza. 2 o'clock, meet me at the gospel stage. I will be performing that hit song, man. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. This will be my first time really like out at a festival performing the song live. I got a couple of other hits that I'll definitely be doing too, man. So if you in the area, please, y'all come on out, man. Y'all come on out and rock with your boy, man, all right? I love y'all. Morning Motivational Family. We signing off. I am ultra blessed. Truly, Truly blessed, blessed to see you another day. God is great and he's worthy to be praised. We thank him. We give him all honor. And we celebrate this breath of life. Shout out to y'all, man. Big shout out to each and every single one of y'all. I love y'all. God bless you. 
Catch y'all on the next time, all right? And hopefully, man, hopefully I see y'all on Saturday, 2 o'clock, Gospel Stage, African American Family Day, Black Fest, in the Plaza, all been in New York, man. I love y'all. Catch y'all on the next time. It's morning time, family. It is morning time.